Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had the pleasure of attending the makeup show here in Las Vegas yesterday. It's actually still going on today, which is Sunday, um, August 12th. I think today's the 12th. Anyway, um, I went with a friend of mine and we had such a great time. I picked up some goodies, so I wanted to share them with you. So if you're interested in finding out what I got at the makeup show, then just keep on watching. So the makeup show decided to come to Vegas, which I was so excited about. I had gone to the one in New York last year and it was so much fun. Um, and when I found out that they were coming here and that it was also going to be open to the public, I was like, yes, so exciting. So um, I was there yesterday. It's actually still going on today, Sunday, the day that I'm filming. Um, I decided to just sort of cool my jets and uh, not go back today, even though I bought a weekend pass. But I did enough damage yesterday that I thought, let's just leave it there. So let me show you uh, what I purchased. So I stopped by the Muse Beauty Pro... Uh, booth first because they were like my favorites and I purchased one of the Viseart Theory palettes which I don't have any of these surprisingly um, so I picked up Cashmere which is like I believe the most neutral and it's these little palettes that kind of flip open and let me take off this cover here so here is that palette it's so beautiful three mattes three shades this is not new so I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I'm really excited to play around with this. So I also purchased this brush book from Isan, um, uh, an Instagram friend of mine, um, Callie Butte, if you don't follow her, her name is Dom. If you don't follow Dom at all, you should. She is not only an amazing beauty blogger, of course, and has great pictures on Instagram, but she's just super sweet. I absolutely adore her. And she had gone on a trip, I don't know, this was in her Snapchat months ago probably at this point, but she had purchased um, this, I believe this brush book and like the whole kit, which I didn't get, um, but it was like, you know, like a wonderful looking travel kit. And she was kind of raving about it. And I thought, if Dom likes it, I'm going to get it. So I picked it up. It has this kind of... Um, like fabric covered hard case. It has like a nice like handle in the back that you can slip your fingers through. It is an all around zip and inside, on one side you have little pockets for brushes and then bigger pockets like so. And on this side you just have one big sort of plastic um, vinyl pouch where you can just sort of store all your makeup. So I love cases like this um, because when I travel, I don't usually travel for that long where I need like a lot of stuff. I usually do, you know, weekend travel or like the three, four day travel and this is like perfect for me. So I'm excited about this. So that's what I got at the Muse Beauty Pro booth and then I sort of swung around and hit the Smith Cosmetics booth and I purchased two of their brushes. Uh, one is the um, number 115, and it is a dual fiber brush, so it is synthetic and natural hair, and it's meant for like cream products. So I love my Tom Ford one, which is very similar to this, the cream foundation brush. So I thought, let me get a backup, um, which is probably a little bit easier to clean and maintain, since that one I believe is 100% natural haired. Um, this will be, you know, kind of easier to wash because I really have to baby that one. This one, um, I'll be careful with, but I, I think I can be a little bit, you know, like less precious with this one. But anyway, I'm excited for this. I really like the Smith brushes. And then I also picked up brush number 302, which is a teeny tiny synthetic haired flat sort of concealer brush. I don't know if you can see the shape of this, but isn't that cool? It's sort of like an asymmetric angle and then it comes back down it's not just flat it kind of domes at the top um, but I thought this could be really um, handy for like cutting a crease or like uh, precise kind of concealer work so anyway I thought um, this was a very unique brush so I picked that up as well and all the Smith brushes were 20% off which was amazing and then I hit the Kevin O'Quan booth it was really small I was hoping for like kind of a larger selection or a few of their newer things but I got some of their um, older things for much cheaper. So this um, foundation brush was 50% off. I believe it's like, I think she said it was $82 retail and we got it for, my friend and I got it for $41 each. So here is the brush. Sorry, there's still there's wrapping on the handle. These brushes are just beautiful. They just, I mean like look beautiful. Um, so this is a synthetic haired brush and the rep at the 
um, at the booth there <laughs> called it the microphone brush because we were like, can we look at that brush? She was like, oh, the microphone brush. So we were all just like joking. Anyway, um, so this is the foundation brush and I just loved the shape of it because it's like domed but kind of pointy too. So you can kind of get into like crevices and stuff. Anyway, I just thought it was a great deal. It looks awesome. And um, I wanted to try this shape out. So, and it's very dense. Yeah, very soft. So I'm excited for that. And then um, I went ahead and purchased this cream highlighter, the friend that I was with. Hi, Carla, if you're watching. Um, the friend that I was with was raving about this. She had already hit pan on it. Um, and it is in the shade Halo. And I don't know, I was kind of on the fence about it. It kind of reminded me of that YSL blurring. It's like a, it's like a cream product. It came in the pink compact. Influencer sent it out. I think there are a bunch of videos on it. And I got it, and I don't really use it that often. Not that I don't like the product. But anyway, this reminded me of it. Um, but the woman was like, I'll sell it to you for 15 bucks." I was like, okay, I'll take it. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, it's just a cream product. I think it's uh, meant to be a highlighter, but I think it also has like, like a blurring effect. So yeah, I love a good cream highlighter, so I'm excited for this. And it has a very cool pinky tone to it which is really pretty. A lot of the cream highlighters that I have have like a warm lean to them. So this will be a nice addition to the collection. And then I stopped by the Friends Beauty booth and they were selling some of the Melt Cosmetics stuff. So I picked up the Rust Stack and it was only $40. I think it's like $52 or $58 online. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And it's something that I've been dying to try out for a long time. And here it is. Again, not a new product. I think we are all familiar with the Rust Stack. Comes with a mirror, and then it comes with five um, five shades. I don't. Can you roll these out? Oh, so here. Oh god, these are gonna fall. Here's the four. Here's the fifth. There's one shade in here, which is this one, uh, rubbish, um, which has sort of like an ochre kind of undertone to it. And this one made this stack much more special to me. So I decided to go for this one. I can't wait to try this out. And then I swung by, um, Makeup Forever didn't actually have their own booth there, I don't think. Anyway, it was the Makeup Forever booth. I went ahead and purchased three of their new face color pans. And um, I got shade H102 as a highlighter. And again, this is sort of like a cool highlighter shade. Absolutely beautiful. And then I purchased B302, which is a blush. And this has like a lovely sheen to it. It's like a really pretty peachy pink color. Love that. And then last but not least, this is actually labeled a sculpting powder. So this is S300. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be using this as a blush, but here is S300. I guess it could be sculpting if you are very, very fair, but it's a very, it's, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a blush to me. It's very, very um, peachy in tone. And then um, I picked up the refillable case that you can put these into. So that's what this looks like. It flips open. If you have any of the Makeup for Forever palettes, it is similar, except that it has a mirror. And so this uh, top cover is like thicker and heavier. And then it has like the magnetic bar down in here. So, so that's what this looks like. All right, so last but not least, I picked up a mirror from Glamcore. I'm so excited for this. I was tempted to purchase one of their larger ones on the stand that you would put you know, on your vanity, but they're so big. And my vanity is actually not that large, and right in front of my vanity I have a window that I like to use. So the mirror would have blocked the window, and I don't know, I just thought, let me do sort of like the economical version of a typical Glamcore mirror. So I got their, I think it's Ricky Loves Ricky mirror. It's their little mirror, but it's actually not that small. It's actually pretty perfect. Um, it comes in this white box which you could store it in. And let me just show you the case that it comes in before I show you the actual mirror. Um, so this is the gray carrying case that comes with it. I'm not sure if, I think maybe this was a show special, um, 
I hope not because I think this is the most amazing carrying case. It has a little handle. It has like zippers. It's um, sort of like a plasticized, hardish, hard-ish case. And when you open it up, the mirror sits um, on the inside cover here, and it has this um, information card, and it has this protective flap here. And then some of your accessories sit in here. So it comes with a magnifying mirror. Um, it comes with like an iPhone holder. Um, and then the recharging USB charger and then the stand fits in here. So let me show you the mirror. So this is what the mirror looks like. It's very light. It's almost the size of like a big iPad. Um, it's this flat and um, it has some buttons down at the bottom here. You recharge it right here with the USB cord. Um, so there's five um, power levels for the lighting uh, from lightest to darkest and then you can actually connect your phone to this uh, via Bluetooth and then you can use this button down here at the bottom right hand corner to like take selfies um, and like here is the iPhone holder and you can just simply it like magnetizes to the mirror and you can put your phone here you can turn the lights on so you can film that way I don't film with my iPhone but you can or you can like vlog that way um, or you can simply just take a selfie. So you can use the lights around the mirror as like your studio lighting. So it's really cool. Um, the lighting is really, it's so awesome. Like the lights are so effective. Um, and some of the best things about it are that it's cordless. So you can charge it up with this USB charger. Um, the rep there was telling me that it will last for five hours. Um, I love how light it is. I love that it comes with the accessories like the iPhone holder, the magnifier if you want to like do some precise work. Um, I love the quality of this. I think the lighting is great. The mirror is wonderful. It's light enough to actually carry around. And then it comes with this stand which um, you know just sort of opens depending on what angle you want. It sits in here. It basically looks like a book stand. Um, but it has these rubber grips at the bottom so you know, I was asking him, like, does this click? Because you don't want it to just kind of keep splaying open. He said, oh, no, it has the rubber grip. So when you lay it down, it just sticks to where it is. So I thought, oh, that's so cool. Um, and again, light. And this fits right into the carrying case. So I was so happy with this. So they were um, discounted a little bit um, at the show. So I paid $180 for this. I believe they retail for $195. So not, not too bad. Again, I'll take it. I'll take any discount. Um, so I am loving this mirror. I used it this morning to put on my makeup. I just love it. This is awesome. Highly, highly recommend. And in fact, it'll probably end up in my favorites. I'm going to keep using it um, and see how I like it, see how it performs. Um, but so far, I am loving it. So that is basically what I purchased at the makeup show. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. Please comment down below. If you attended the makeup show in Vegas, I would love to hear what you got. Uh, please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video.